Hello viewers, let's make ginger makgeolli. This is gonna be fun. Day zero, let's make the juke. So we make the porridge. This is 200 grams of rice flour and 750 milliliters of water. Stir it at medium heat continuously until it thickens. It'll become a sticky glob. Take it off the heat and want to cool it down so I put it in the ice bath. Then as we're waiting for that to cool, Mix the naruk. That's 90 grams of naruk, um, half a teaspoon of yeast, pinch of sugar, and the rest of that bottled water, 250 milliliters. Let, okay, as this is cooling down, you'll want to stir it a couple of times just to even it out. Once it's cooled down to room temperature, put it in the fermentation jar. I, I don't like, I like uh, saving every bit of the rice. I don't like wasting it, so I'm scraping off the spoon there with the chopstick. Pour in the naruk mixture and stir it up. This is the first stage of fermentation. So you keep it in a dark place and stir it twice a day for two days. It's bubbling away there. Okay, that's good. It's fermenting. So stir it twice a day for two days. Then on day two, let's make the godoba. This is the second stage of fermentation. So uh, wash the rice, that takes a while. Um, you have to wash it until the water is clear. That will take at least 20 minutes or half an hour. Soak it for at least two hours. And then drain it for uh, 40 minutes or so, half an hour. Okay, then get your steamer ready and uh, Pour in the rice, spread it out, cover it up again, make sure there's no gaps. You want all the steam to hit the rice. That steams for 40 minutes. Okay, now be careful, this is, this is a lot of hot steam. Okay, then uh, spread it out to cool down. This has to cool to room temperature as well. While that's cooling, let's prepare the ginger. Uh, wash the ginger, cut off most of the skin. This is 188 grams after it's peeled. And then put it in a Ziploc. Don't close it all the way. If you close it all the way, it's going to burst when you hit it with the mallet. Okay, so that was fun. Now, um, now add the cooled rice to the first stage and then add in the crushed ginger and mix that by hand looks good keep it in a dark place again no longer need to stir it you see the little bits of ginger in there now it's day 10 still brewing match test the match goes out when you bring it into the jar day 11 match goes out but then on day 13 the match stays lit that's indication it's time to bottle. So on day 14, we bottle, uh, boil, boil the uh, strainer. Time to strain it. Um, there's a, you need to scrape the sides of the strainer so it doesn't get clogged up. And that's it. We uh, there is less jigami than I thought. So there's only only 268 grams of jigami left left and then and then bottle it so it's it's very fragrant even at this point it smells great so there it is that's our ginger makgeolli right there very tasty everyone seems to like it i like it uh, this is a good one um, the taste is not like it's not exactly like uh, ginger syrup ginger syrup uh, you boil the ginger, so it's um, hot and spicy. It has a lot of added sugar. Uh, this brewed 12 days raw ginger. Uh, it's more. It's more fragrant. It's more um, grassy. Um, so there is a there is a distinct difference uh, brewing it this way compared with adding ginger syrup at the end of brewing, just as a kind of ginger cocktail. And one of the reasons I tried ginger this time is because I read that ginger has some enzyme properties like amylase, and maybe that could um, maybe that could improve the brew. 
And uh, there's some evidence for that, just in the fact that there is less jigemi than uh, usual with this brew. Even though I added so many more solids to the brew, um, the weight of the solids is less than just, usually I end up with 300 grams just of rice um, solids left over, and this time only 268 grams. So that's, that's some evidence to that, that there's some enzyme action of the ginger. Uh, in any case, it's very tasty. Everyone I had try it, seemed to like it. It's almost gone now. By the time I'm recording this, I don't have much left. Um, so, uh, so try it out. See if it works for you. Let me know what happens. And uh, thank you for watching.